Hi, it's Fishing Sister. We've just arrived at Kangaroo Island and we're fishing off the Penishore Jetty, which is right where the ferry comes in. So I've got my float rig on and I'm going to have burley in my spring and I'm using gents with a couple of size 8 long shanked hooks. So I'm hoping to get some tommies. So that's how I'm going to start my fishing session off today. So we made some burley last night. It's just breadcrumbs with some curry powder. We've mixed in some tuna oil as well, a bit of water. I've heard that the Tommies you can get over here on Kangaroo Island are massive. So I'd be pretty happy to catch one of those. The wind's on my back today, which is perfect. The fishing apps say today's a high fish activity day because it was full moon two days ago. Also the tide's right. All the signs are good. I'd love to catch dinner. <laughs> Okay, I'm changing my rig. I'm going to target whiting and I've got a really light sinker. Cockles, size 6, long shanked hooks. So, let's see what happens. I've got a bite. Three in a row. Three in a row. Four in a row. Let's see if I can keep it on. That usually means whiting when they behave like that. Whiting, look at that. Double header. Well, that was exciting. First fish for me. And it's 21 centimetres. And it's going back. <laughs> King George Whiting. It's nice to catch something. The only whiting on that sign's King George. But, I mean, it's so stripy. King George just don't. Have you? So that's two of those whiting. That's another one. Looks like it might be worth keeping. Was it? Yep. King George has only got spots. All right. This one here hasn't got spots or bands. Grass one. The grass one's a um, bit more green than that, but they're probably all different colours. Here comes a fairy. <laughs> Look at that. Little one. Come on. Okay. Martin's got a whiting on. I think I've got something on too. I've got one too. This one looks alright. So this one's 25 centimetres because it's got the it's got the spots but not like a King George and it's got the all the bands there. I'm gonna pop that back. Even though <laughs> even though I probably could keep that one.
bit of sunshine just coming out. I think I'm on. Definitely on. Oh, oh, I've got two of them. What is that? Honey, what is that? Oh, a fish with some seaweed. <laughs> There's whiting out there, but they're too little. Six centimeters this one and it's definitely not a King George whiting so I think we'll keep that one so we're only about a third of the way to dinner no pressure Squid jig in on a float. I can keep it on. It doesn't feel big enough. Oh. OMG, that is big enough. Well, you've only got half a tail. Oh, it's a salmon trout. Yeah. It's big enough. You're a salmon trout with only a bit of a tail left. Nice one though, 26 centimetres. Well, it's something for dinner. I don't know if there's anything on or not. But it was bobbing around, it's worth looking at. Oh my goodness, I've got a squid. <laughs> oh yeah. Now we're talking, now we're talking dinner. I just thought, is that bobbing around or not? And it was. Gently now. Don't want to lose it. Oh, look at that. It's only a little one, but... Oh, I'm seeing, I'm seeing entree. <laughs> okay. First squid we've had in a while. It's not a big one, but salt and pepper. It's going to taste great. So that was a lot of fun fishing off the Penishore jetty. We caught a squid and a salmon trout that's a decent size and also we've kept one of our weedy whiting for dinner. I've never eaten one of these whiting so I'm curious about how it's going to taste. We caught so many of these whiting down here. So tonight's going to be a bit of a mixed fish dish. We're going to cook it up down on the wharf. So that should be very nice. This is Fishing Sister saying goodbye. <laughs>